What is up, you guys? What is up? What is up? What is up? Hello, my sweet friends. We are back. It's been a hot minute since I've sat and spoken to y'all, but listen, we're here. We're happy. Hopefully most of us. Basically, things are good. Um, you know, just always growing every day and trying to be better, better person each day. It's all we can really do in this life is be better than our last day. So that's what we're doing. That We're here. We're here. We're doing the damn thing. Since I've spoken to you last, lots has happened, but in a nutshell, like the last couple of days, things that have happened, Shiloh broke his foot. He is my third child and it has been a freaking week. We're hanging in there. I made a friend, super cool, because it's really hard for me to connect with people like in this area I'm finding and to be straight up, like I just don't, I feel like I don't have a lot in common with the people that live around here or at least anyone I've met. I haven't been like, damn, we could have a strong bond. We could definitely kick it, talk about shit. You know what I mean? Really have time to have surface friendships. Like I have two kids. My mom, my husband, obviously Shiloh, well, this week we're calling him my third child and he's a whole fucking situation. But my aunt, you know, like these are the people, my sister, these are the people that I focus on in my life is my family and my friends who I've had for a long time. So making new friends in your 30s is like kind of weird. But kind of not, you know, like you're just, you're just a lot more particular with your time these days and you just want to spend that precious time that you do have on the people in your life that matter. So making new friendships is definitely interesting. It's so hilarious because like we went on our first date today and we went disc golfing, which is so badass. She's a disker. We talked about shit that was like deep, not just surface level, but like we also talked about surface level shit, but she's really cool. She's witty. I'm excited to see where this relationship takes us. <laughs> Pretty much just like Shiloh's hurt, made a new friend, and found some cute clothes that I want to share with you guys. We are gathered here today because I got some clothes from Shein and I got some clothes from ASOS and I want to share them with you. I want your feedback. Do we like it or do we not like it? How are we feeling about it? Quality, we're going to talk about it all. So we're just going to get right on into it, okay? We're going to get into it all. That's the sound of me possibly almost breaking this little stool that I'm in. Let me just let you know that last year, I think I broke three chairs. So first up from Shein is this top. It's pretty stretchy. I got it in a 2X because I just didn't want it to fit like super big, but that's a risk I took because my boobs are big and sometimes it pops out of the bottom. So... <laughs> If you're gonna wear this, if I'm gonna wear this, I just can't be like, you know, maybe a 3X would have been the move. I am normally like an 1820 on top, depending on cuts like this, but I think this is gonna be a 3X for the future. I might return it, might not. Then I also got this plaid top and this I freaking love because you can either dress it up or down and I feel like the fit is good. It's not too short. Okay, you know, I think we might have to return this shirt for a bigger size because this is the whole situation. How cute is it with this top? It's not the best quality. It's kind of stiff, but it's a lot better than some of the stuff that I've gotten from there in the past. So that's a plus. Like, this is definitely something I'm going to keep. I like the sizing. I got a 3X. It's cute. And you match it with some black joggers, which I also got from Shein. And there you have it. And next up is this top that is in a 2X. This fits amazing, really happy with the fit. It's like stretchy, I can raise my arms and just like not flash the whole entire town. That's working for us. And then it's a little see-through, like obviously you could see like a black bra. Like if you were wearing a white bra, it'd probably look better. But I asked my sister if this was just so awful like the look of a black bra through a white shirt and she actually said it's kind of like cute this is probably one of my favorite pieces from my order it is a like baby blue shacket and i'm definitely feeling this i have been on the hunt for a shacket i think it's just super cute super classic the thing i like about shackets is that the pockets on the front are just so chunky and cute this one is also just like a good size like i don't like it when it's too short in the front and so i'm happy that it's like this. It passes the butt test, so I'm happy about that. 
It even goes a little bit below the tush. We sweating up in her. You gotta dab the lip a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am bloated tonight. So you're gonna see some bloatage, bloating, we puffy. This shirt I wanted to love so badly. It's so freaking cute, but it just doesn't make the cut. But literally, it is such a cute top and it had so much potential. It's just, if you have boobs, it just is not gonna work out for you. And it makes me so sad to deliver that god awful news because this shirt just really had all the tidings for a great recipe to look snatched. But yet here we are, not the business. I don't know, it's such a stretchy material that you, one would think, one would think, but no. Okay, I wanted to love these so much and looking at the video, I feel like I do, but when I'm wearing them, they just feel way too big. I have to actually roll over the top to make it a little bit shorter because they're a little too long. But I feel like they're just so cute and go with everything. So I'll probably keep them. So if you're 5'4 like I am, it's probably gonna be a little too long for you. So just keep that in mind if you do end up wanting to order them. The color is great, it's a neutral. You can't go wrong with this. These pants are from ASOS. They accidentally sent me a size 16 instead of a size 18, but they're so cute. I just think I have to exchange them and get the proper size because I don't think I wanna miss out on these. They're a stretchy material, which is great, but not enough stretch that you can size down a whole size. So also keep that in mind. Now we have these shorts, which I really like, but I'm not sure if I'm going to return them for a smaller size. These are a size 18. I might go with the 16 just because they're stretchy and I want them to fit a little bit tighter than these do. I want to feel a little bit more like secure than having to like always pull it up and you know shrinking it in the dryer. I have a feeling that these won't shrink much more. If you pair it with something like this and just like a little shacket, look how easy this outfit is. You're comfy and we're comfy and we love it. Yeah. Does it pass the see-through test? I don't think it does. But to be honest, I don't think I'm ever gonna be wearing this to where it shows my undies. Unless I'm around the house, in which case I don't care. I'm so glad I got to show you those pieces. I will link everything down below, so if you liked it, you can go ahead and shop it. Purchase away, make sure you're just feeling good in the clothes you wear. If you don't, just return that shit. It's hard enough to find plus size clothing on your own. That's why I'm here for you. I'm here to do it for you. I'm your human guinea pig. Don't know why I started talking in this accent. Now, thank you for being here. I know your time is precious and you spending it with me means more than you could ever know. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you like being here. If you don't, you might like following me on Instagram. So at Tori Block, T-O-R-I-I dot B-L-O-C-K. Head over there. Head wherever you the F you want to go. Let me know what you want in my next video. Love you guys. Mwah.